Hello, this is Jared from Commit Quality, and today we're going to go over Node.js setup for Windows. So, what is Node? Simply, Node is an open source cross platform JavaScript runtime environment. It basically allows you to execute JavaScript outside of a web browser. Now, let's go into the setup. If you go to Google and search for Node.js, you want to click on the download link for the Node.js website. On here, you have a few options and it can be a little intimidating, but simply LTS means long-term support. And then you have current, which will have the latest features that are being added. Now, it's your choice which one you want to download. When you're thinking about things like production software, you want to think, well, maybe I want to go to the long-term support version. However, in this instance, I'm going to click current. I'm installing on Windows and we want the 64-bit version. So I'm going to click. Once that's downloaded, you can open up the setup. And for the majority of this, we just want to click our way through. Now, this is a good point to stop and have a quick chat. Tools for native modules. By default, it's unchecked that it says automatically install the necessary tools. And this also installs Chocolatey. Now, Chocolatey is a Windows package manager. It manages the packages for you, and you should be aware that you don't necessarily need this to do any of your work. However, it can make the automated installation and updating of your applications on your machine a lot easier. So I'm going to select this and click Next, and then I'm going to Install. Now, it can take quite a bit of time to install, so we'll cut back to that. Once setup's complete, just click Finish, and we can check to make sure Node is installed. Now, with Node installed, we want to actually check that it's installed and we can execute some JavaScript files. So open up a command prompt and type node space hyphen v. This will give you the latest version of Node that you've just downloaded, so we know all is good. At this point, we now want to go into Visual Studio Code, create a JavaScript file, and we want to execute it to make sure everything is as expected. If you haven't got Visual Studio Code installed, I'll put a link into the description and I'll pop it up on screen now for you to go view my setup guide and an overview of how Visual Studio Code works. So I'm going to open up Visual Studio Code. I'm going to create a new JavaScript file and we'll just save this as hello world. Hello world.js. And inside here, we're just going to do a simple console.log statement that says like, comment, and subscribe. Finish that off. And to run this file now, we can go back to our command line and we can enter node and then the name of our file, which was hello world.js. And here we are, we've got like, comment, and subscribe printed out. Thanks for watching and have a great day.